بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه Being blessed with the month of Ramadan is to realize the power of fasting. Muslims all over the world, over 1.6 billion Muslims are fasting at the same month. They all go through the same experience and they all hopefully gain the same spiritual, mental, emotional and physical benefits that are meant to be yielded from fasting the month of Ramadan. Fasting number one is the body benefits. We now see all over the world new therapy, therapy, therapy that is being uh, introduced and that is fast therapy. In other words, the Prophet of Islam said Sumu tasahu, fast and be healthy. What we are told now by doctors is that when people fast, the body has a chance to rejuvenate. It has a chance to get rid of weaker cells as well as to consume the cells that have been stored in the form of fat. And in so doing, the body in actual fact is flushing out all weak cells as well as dead cells, including intoxicants from the body. Beyond that is that it's an opportunity for the stomach and the intestines to have a chance to, to relax, to have a chance to rejuvenate. So we see that Muslims in the month of Ramadan actually become less sick Visiting hospitals is a classical example and a testimony that people become less sick in the month of Ramadan. Number of those admitted in hospital reduced dramatically in the month of Ramadan. The reason behind it is that people through fasting have become healthier. In understanding that, we understand through the saying of the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad peace be upon him, when he said, مَا مَلَأَ أَبْنِ آدَمَ وِيَعَانْ شَرَ مِنْ بَطْنِهِ uh, the son of Adam, the offsprings of Adam, have never filled a pot that is so evil than the stomach. Enough is for a person to eat a few during the day, to eat little during the day. If the person was to eat and there is no way out but to eat, فَثُلُثٌ لِطَعَامِهِ وَثُلُثٌ لِشَرَابِهِ وَثُلُثٌ لِنَفَسِهِ then they need to divide the stomach into three. A third is for solids, a third is for liquids, and a third is for air. In other words, one should never ever fill the stomach beyond two thirds. In another saying he said, We are a nation, we do not eat until we go hungry. And when we eat, we do not fill ourselves. We do not eat until we are full. In other words, always eat less than what you think you need. That way you give your, chance, your body a chance to digest the food and to transform that food into energy that is required for you to move around. Beyond the body's benefit in fasting, also we are told part of fasting is also to refrain from ill manners. The Prophet of Islam said, وَلَا صَوْمَ إِلَّا بِالْكَفِّ عَنْ مَحَارِمِ اللَّهِ and fasting is not fulfilled until one abstains from all wrongdoing that Almighty Allah has forbidden. We also see in his saying, another saying he says, Man lam zuri wal amal bi. Anyone who does not refrain from ill talk and acting upon ill talk. فَلَيْسَ لِلَّهِ حَاجَةً فِي أَنْ يَدَعَ طَعَامَهُ وَشَرَابًا Then Allah is not in need for one to refrain from eating and drinking. So we see that month of Ramadan, the power of fasting is that one gets to discipline oneself physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And the result by the end of Ramadan is the person has become a better person, has elevated oneself to become a better citizen on this earth. With that, we come to the conclusion of the talk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.